Hello and welcome to episode 23 of the Breaking Yarn podcast. My name is McKaylee. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is my podcast where I talk all about my knitting, my crocheting, and my yarn dyeing. You can find me online at breakingyarn.com or anywhere on social media at Breaking Yarn. Today I have one finished object. I have a brand new whip and I have a lot of acquisitions. Some were purchased, some were gifts. And I also have a finished object from the community to share with you. So let's just jump right into it. My first finished object is from last episode. I did not share what I was working on yet with this Skylar white colorway. This will be coming to the shop probably sometime in January. Um, and I will explain why in January. Okay, so the finished object that I have is a new design. These are my Skylar white socks. This is my own pattern. I designed these um, for Skylar White. She's a character who is married to Walter White in Breaking Bad. Um, she's an accountant. She's a mother. She always wears these bracelets in the show. They're called Liquid Metal and they're by a, I believe, a New Mexican designer, Sergio Gutierrez. Um, they're beautiful bracelets. Actually very heavy if you actually get to see them in person. Um, so I designed these socks based on her bracelets. So, um, and I'll take it off of the sock blocker so you can get an idea of what that texture itself looks like. But I did 64 stitches for the cuff, um, knit to purl to. I followed this purl stitch ridge all the way down the foot, leg and foot. And I have one option in the pattern right now. We'll see if it stays. Um, it kind of depends on the testers too, of if you want to take it into the toe, you can do that as well. That's kind of what it would look like. I just couldn't get that out of my head when I was knitting the second sock that what if it would, what would it look like? Cause I just haven't seen anybody do it. What would it look like if the pearl ridge continued into the toe stitches? So I have that right now as an option in the pattern. I used a slip stitch heel, um, no, I'm sorry, not a slip stitch heel. This is the eye of the partridge heel in the pattern. That was my first time doing that. And that was a lot of fun. Um, I still did the heel flap, um, heel flap, heel turn and gusset, keeping that pearl ridge there through the gusset stitches as well. And let me see if I can show you the patterning on the sock. It actually looks like the bracelets that she would wear. And it does this, it's like this X pattern. And then um, it has arrows going towards the center on both sides. I'll insert a picture here of what the bracelet looks like so that you can get a better idea of that. This is a textured sock, so it's just knits and pearls. Um, and I am obsessed that there are these little diamonds in between the repeats. I did not anticipate that, but I love the texture and the little design element that it adds. Um, and I knit this on the Skylar White colorway, as I mentioned, um, and I will release both of these together at the same time. Um, I currently just put out a call on my email subscriber list for test knitting this pattern and I will be sending out, picking and sending out the pattern to a few test knitters on Monday when this episode airs. So that'll be exciting. I hope to have the pattern out in January along with the colorway, which will make its permanent um, addition into the shop. So that's my finished object, my Skylar white socks. Um, yeah, 
So it's very exciting. It's my first time designing socks and I have a feeling it won't be the last time I design socks. I have some other ideas that I really want to try and see how that goes. So that's my finished object. I have one work in progress and it's in this knit bag. It's a tote with a zipper and it's got zippers, pockets on the inside along with other um, slipped pockets. This is from Will of Sparker Yarn Co. I picked this up at the Taos Wool Festival and it is currently holding a brand new whip. It's a scrappy shawl and the pattern is called Honey, I Shrunk the Stash and it's by Leslie Ann Robinson or she's Knit Graffiti on Instagram. And I am using fingering weight scraps from previous projects. So I'm using, let me just show you some of the ones I'm using. Um, I have some minis. This is from Pretty Twisted Yarns. I have some Mandy's Makings. I have granite state yarns. This is the colorway I just put in actually. It's called Berry Pickin' and I just knit socks out of that. I have some Lily of the Valley, some Bleeding Out. I have some zebra yarn, which is the black and white stripes from my socks. This is from Anna of Zebra Yarns. I have some breaking yarn more breaking yarn. This was a one of a color, one of a kind colorway that I had um, knit socks out of. Yeah, so those are just a few of my scraps and I'm not really too concerned about how scrappy it looks. Um, I did do the black and white striping and it actually, I really like how that looks. I'm not sure how it will play out in as the shawl gets larger. It might be like black, white, black and I'm, we'll see. Um, but I'm just using up old scraps. These, this one right here is from P and W Pearls. It was my It's Showtime sock set that I got from her um, with the black and white stripes. And then this is Granite State Yarns. And I just added in this mint green color into the shawl. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Honey, I shrunk the stash. It's a very simple brioche shawl. Um, it's been a while since I've done brioche and I love it so much. I don't, I don't know if you know how to knit brioche, um, but this would be a good beginner brioche project if you want to learn how to knit brioche. Um, it is just two repeats, um, or two sets of, um, rounds? No, not rounds because it's straight rows <laughs> and the only stitches you need to know are um, regular brioche. This is one color brioche which I've also never done. I've always done two color so it is a little different in my mind like actually turning the work instead of sliding the work. Um, but that makes it easier too and then you just need to know the basic brioche increase which is um, brioche knit yarn over brioche knit. It's called bark yarn over bark um, to increase on one of the rounds. So that's that. I'm going to add in my Skylar White into my scrappy bag there. It's holding all of my scraps and the project. So it's a perfect bag for that. Um, I do have a few acquisitions to share with you. The first one I got from Sarah from the Pearling Perry. She sent this skein to me as a thank you. Um, she had sent me a message on Instagram about yarn dyeing. She just had a question and I answered the DM. Um, and so she sent this as a thank you. And I thought that was so sweet. This is from her shop. It's called Foggy Mountain. Um, that's the colorway name. Her shop is the Pearling Perry. Um, and I'll put her um, link down below to her shop, but it has these beautiful grays and greens and I just love it. Um, I can't wait to use this. This is on her soft fingering, which is 7525 
superwash merino and nylon um, and um, she also so sweetly gave my followers a discount code to use through December 31st. You can use the code BREAKING10 for 10% off your entire order. So I'll put that down below with the link to her shop so you can check that out. The Pearling Perry. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Um, over Black Friday, I actually only got one thing. Yeah, I only got one thing, and it was this bag from Danielle of Mountain, I'm sorry, of Midwest Stitches. And um, it's got lining the checkers, which is really cute. And it's a drawstring bag with a handle. I love bags with handles so that I can knit and walk. Um, yeah, so I loved that. I loved the saying and kind of the folly theme of it. And I got a discount on it, so <laughs> it was very exciting. I received my two advents that I was waiting on. This one is the um, 12 Stripes Advent Skein from um, Anna of Zebra Yarns. We are opening this on December 25th, and then we're knitting socks two at a time um, all together on this and will be done in early January and she's doing a knit along for it so there's a hashtag zebra yarns advent 2021 which is really fun it'll be exciting to knit along with everyone who got the advent um, I also got my fuzzy whatnots advent and if you are waiting on yours or you don't want to be spoiled, I am only showing you the bag that it came with. So look away if you don't want to see it. But it's this big tote bag. <laughs> and it has these like snowy trees. And then it actually has needles with um, knitting on it, which is really cute. And I love the colors of it as well. Um, and I got the cool theme. I have not opened them yet. They don't start until December 13th. It is um, 12 mini skeins and a full skein for Christmas day, which will be exciting. I've never done an advent before, so I'm looking forward to that. And it came, whoops, it came with a bunch of goodies from various shops that she collaborated with. So there's a few goodies in there. A pin, some progress keepers, um, a handle to turn a project bag into something you can walk and knit with, which is really cool. And I know it comes with a couple of patterns too. I have not seen the patterns yet. I know they didn't want to spoil the yarn, so I'm not sure if the patterns will come on the 13th or on Christmas day, I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, so these are all of the makers that um, collaborated on this advent set with Teresa from Fuzzy Whatnots. And I'm so excited to open it. I cannot wait. Sorry, this might be crumply. Okay, so I also received a couple of acquisitions that were gifts. Um, it was recently my birthday and I received a few things. So I wanted to share those with you as well. I received this yarn from Anna of Zebra Yarns. She sent me this colorway. She knows mint is my favorite color and it's striped with gray and I can't wait to use that. Um, she also sent me this project bag from Little Robin Cottage. Isn't that so cute with the little skiers? And it's a zipper bag. Cute little lining in there too. And I don't know if it came with this or if this was just like part of a set, but it has this little skier progress keeper that goes with it that matches the project, project bag. Isn't that so cute? Oh, okay. And then I also received 
this large project bag that has llamas on it that are Christmas themed. This is from Quilt Knit Craft. If I can find their shop on Etsy, I will link it down below, but it's a zipper as well and a large bag. And then I also got these little progress keepers that are Christmas themed. These are from White Rose Fiber Company. And again, if I can find these online, I will link them down below. And then my husband, I sent him a, like a wish list on Amazon and he got all of it for me, which was so sweet. I got the sleeve set from Chow Gu. Um, these are to knit sleeves. <laughs> the needles, well, the needles start at size US 4, which is 3.5 millimeter. And then, whoops, because I just threw it. They all kind of came out, oopsies. Ah! Uh oh. I'm gonna have to be more careful with that. <laughs> so it's a US size four up to a US size eight. And this is so you can knit smaller circumferences like sleeves or maybe um, uh, hats, I'm not sure. But you can um, pick what size cable you want. And I already have the red set, which is for nine inch circular socks. And that one goes up to size three. So this will kind of fill in the gaps for a small circumference, but larger needles. And then I also have from years past, um, the Chowgu Red Lace Interchangeable Set. And that's what I use for every other project, magic lube, shawls, sweaters, etc. So I'm excited to add this to the collection. And then, my husband also got me some stitch dictionaries. This one's from Interweave, um, 250 essential knit stitches, but I love all the pictures in it. Uh, I can't wait to like dig into these and see what I find inspiring. And then I also got, <gasps> this one's so heavy, from Vogue Knitting, the stitch dictionary from them. And this one has over 800 stitch patterns, which is crazy. It has color work, lace, cables, um, textures, just like everything you can imagine <laughs> is in this book. And I'm so excited. And because I've been getting more into designing and um, kind of taking my business a little bit in that direction, and so I figured it would be good to have some stitch dictionaries to follow and maybe get some ideas out of. Um, so those are all my acquisitions. I do have one finished object from the community to share with you. This is by Cassandra. She is Knits of Steel on Instagram. And she knit, whoopsies, she knit, the Clairvoyant Beanie by the Chesapeake Needle. Needle. She used one skein of worsted weight in the hazmat suit colorway. And this is a cabled hat pattern, but I just love the shape of it and the um, patterning through it. It's super cute. And um, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, I have to share this. It's so cute. Um, so thank you so much to Cassandra for letting me share your hat pattern on my podcast. Um, I love that bright yellow and um, Cassandra is in Canada and she has already gotten snow this year. Um, so she'll be getting a lot of use out of that hat, which is really fun. Um, the last thing um, I, wanted to show you my Los Poyos Hermanos um, mug. I got this from the Breaking Bad store here in Albuquerque, but they have a shop online if you are looking for any Breaking Bad themed mugs. Um, you, 
can check out their store store i will link that down below as well um, i'm drinking a chai latte i use a powder called chamba chai and i mix it with milk because i love the creaminess of it um as far as shop goes i fulfilled a couple of wholesale orders i am working really hard to get my shop um, restocked some colorways are sold out um, as you can see there's gaps in certain areas i had a large sale on black friday for my experiment section yarn so over there is pretty bare <laughs> minus the minis um i have a few extra that are ready to go into the shop experiment update next um but i think that's mostly everything thank you so much for joining me on episode 23 of the Breaking Yarn podcast. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. This is a test of the audio system for the Breaking Yarn podcast. I just recorded the entire episode and my mic gave out. So I'm doing it again. This is a test. This is a test. This is this this is a test. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Test 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 test.